I said today, you didn't hear me. I said today, in the name of Jesus, that mountain shall be destroyed. In the mighty name of Jesus, that mountain shall give way. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. For you. The anointing is present. To bring a, pro a prominence in your life. The anointing is present. To take you to a, a higher glory. The anointing is present. To take you to another level. Oh, no. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, somebody. Whatever that has been left or finished in your life, I see the speed of the Holy Ghost. Amen. I say, I see the speed of the Holy Ghost Amen. bringing them to completion in the name of Jesus. Whatever you have left unfinished, maybe you have a beauty in Africa left unfinished, maybe you have a project left unfinished, maybe you have a business that you have started and you are thinking of abandoning it. But I say, I see the speed of the anointing of the Holy Ghost coming upon you today for the completion of that thing. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. That makes the difference. Exploit is impossible. La exploit c'est impossible. Without the Holy Ghost. Sans le Saint Esprit. Until you receive function. Jusqu'à quand vous avez reçu function. You cannot function. Si on ne peut pas fonctionner. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Wherever you are today. Là où vous êtes aujourd'hui. The function to function. La function de fonctionner. Jesus could not function. Jésus ne pouvait pas fonctionner. For thirty years the Bible says. Was all the son of Joseph the carpenter, and everyone knew him as a carpenter. But when that day came, I said, But when that day came, when the Holy Ghost came upon him, something happened. There was a turn around in his life, there was a turn around in his ministry. The son of a carpenter, people around him began to wonder, Hallelujah! And they said, Is this not the son? The carpenter. What has happened? I said something is about to happen to you. The hand of God is about to come upon your life. The hand of God is upon about to come upon your ministry. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. You you cannot make it part. Until you are empowered. Without the Holy Spirit, you have no ability to perform. It takes the Holy Spirit. It takes the anointing of the Holy Ghost. It takes the unction of the Spirit of God upon a man or a woman to perform. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The Holy Ghost is the gift of God. He is the gift of God for your dignity. He is the gift of God for your elevation. He is the very beauty of Zion. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In the book of Psalm chapter 15, verse 2, the Bible says, it said, out of Zion, the perfection of beauty, God has shown. Out of Zion, the perfection of beauty, God has shown. I say God is about to shine upon somebody. Your glory is about to be revealed. In the name of Jesus. I said your glory is about to be revealed. Hallelujah. Church, 
Christianity is a body. Alors, la chrétienté est un chrétien, c'est un corps. Without the Holy Ghost. Sans les saints yes. The reason why many people yes. Christianity looks like a body for them. Il se pose ça, il y a les gens que les d'être chrétien. It's because the Holy Spirit is not there. C'est parce que right. les saints esprits. But when the Holy Spirit comes upon you. Mais quand les saints esprits est sur toi. It is a joy to serve the Lord. Hallelujah. Every now and then, your heart is filled with joy. And that is why the Bible says the joy of the Lord is my strength. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. It is a joyful day to serve the Lord. But the reason why it looks as if it's a body for some people to serve God. It's because the Holy Ghost is not there. Hallelujah. Without the Holy Ghost, your life is colorless. The Holy Spirit is the one that adds color to your life. I don't know who I'm speaking to today. Maybe your life has been colorless. But I have good news for you. The Holy Spirit is about to come upon you. And when the Holy Spirit comes upon you, it will begin to have color to your life. It will begin to have beauty, beauty to your life. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. It is very important. C'est très important. Very vital. C'est très vital. For us to know. Pour savoir. That without the Holy Ghost. Que sans le Saint Esprit. We are nowhere. Nous sommes nulle part. But you know, church. Mais vous savez, Guy. We live in a time today. On vit dans un moment. We live in a generation. On vit dans une génération. Where people don't have want to have anything. Que les gens ils veulent to do with the Holy Ghost. Ils veulent rien faire avec le Saint Esprit. And it looks as if. Et c'est comme. We have relegated him to the background. On a relégué le Saint Esprit dans la. But there is no way. Mais il n'y a aucune. That church. There is no way you as a child of God. There is no way I as a man of God can function without the Holy Ghost. That is why we need Him. That is why you need Him. Praise the Lord. He is our helper. He is the one that helps us to make life comfortable for you and I. And so his mission is to carry those heavy luggage, those heavy baggage, those heavy burdens, the burdens of life, the burdens of the trouble you are going through, the things that you are facing that are weighing you down. It is his responsibility. It is the duty of the Holy Ghost to carry those baggages. And so, church, whatever baggage you might be carrying as a child of God, I said the Holy Ghost will help you today. Amen. The Spirit of God will help you today. He will carry it for you. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Us to look at a scripture in Psalm 102, Alors, on va aller verse 13. Psalm 102, verse 13. 17. He said, Thou shalt rise and have mercy upon Zion. I'm reading Psalm 102, verse 13. Yeah, that's correct. For the time to favor her, yea, the set time has come. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I said your set time has come. Hallelujah. Your time of comfort has come. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Your time of beauty has come. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. What are you going through today? What are you facing today? What are you encountering today? That same Jesus is here. That same Holy Spirit is here. That same Holy Ghost that empowered Jesus. That empowered the disciples. That made them to turn 
qui le fait changer dans la vie is here today. I say is here today. You know, Jesus told the disciples Alors, Jésus a dit à ses disciples, in Luke chapter 24. Uh, dans le livre de Luke, chapitre when Jesus was about to go, Alors, quand il est, avant, il est he passé, said to the disciples, il a dit à ses disciples Don't venture out Alors, sois pas to dehors. do this work. Fais rien. Don't go on your own strength. Vous allez pas avec votre Don't go on your own. He told them in that place. I believe in verse 49 or so. He said, Tarry ye in Jerusalem. So this is your Jerusalem. He said, Tarry ye in Jerusalem. Until ye be what and you with power from on high. And the disciples hearken to the voice of the Lord. And the Bible says in Acts chapter 2, they began to wait upon the Lord. And the Bible says that day came. And the Holy Ghost came the other day. Like a rushing mighty winds. And tongues of fire began to rest upon them. And many of them, every one of them began to speak in diverse kind of tongues. They received that endowment. They received that anointing. They received that ability. They received that capability. And they venture out. Now, when you look at the Acts of the Apostles, the reason why they call it Acts of the Apostles is because of the deeds that they did. The work that God used them to do. That is why it is called Acts of the Apostles. And the Bible says in Acts chapter 3. He said at the night hour. As Peter and John were going to the temple to pray. They saw a man. Who was at the gate called beautiful. This man was lame from his mother's womb. This man has never walked. And all of a sudden. Peter and John remember. They remember the night before. They remember what happened to them. They remember the anointing and the power of God they received. And they came to that man. And that man was expecting something from them. And Peter said to him, Siva and God have I known. And he said, Such as I have, I give unto you. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, rise up and walk. Praise the Lord. And the Bible said, The man who had never walked stood up and began to walk. So that is the same Jesus we are serving. The Bible says he is the same yesterday. He is the same forever. He is the same today. He is the same tomorrow. He is the same forever. He has not changed. He will never change. If he did it yesterday, he will do it today. I don't know what you are believing God for, but I have good news for you. I say God will do it for you. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, somebody. Praise the Lord. God is still in the business of performing miracles. Hallelujah. And you and I are that instrument he want to use. If only we will make ourselves available. And so if we heal that man that was lame from the mother's womb, that same Jesus will heal you today. Hallelujah. I said that same Jesus will deliver you today. In the name of Jesus. There was this lady back in our church. Married. Elle est mariée. Believe in God. Elle croyait au Seigneur le For the fruit of the womb. D'avoir d'enfants. And so here, she has done everything she knows how to do. Alors elle a tout fait. Elle tout ce qu'elle sait faire, elle l'a fait. 
She went to the doctors. Elle est allée vers les médecins. And after examination. Et après tous les examens. And everything. Et tout. And they told her. Ils ont dit. Woman. Femme. There is no way you can conceive. Ils ont dit que c'est pas possible de concevoir. Medically, it is not possible. Ils ont dit que par la science, c'est pas possible. Medically, there is nothing we can do. Médicalement, il y a rien qu'on puisse faire. You don't have what it takes for you to conceive as a woman. Ils ont dit que vous avez rien pour te faire concevoir. Hallelujah. Femme. Ben Church. Ben Église. God is powerful. Le Seigneur est puissant. Even though the doctor says a fact. But that is not the truth. And so they told this woman, you cannot conceive because you don't have fallopian tube. And you know, without it, there is no way a woman can conceive. And so this woman came to the church. And she began to cry. And I told her, don't cry. God is still the same. All you need to do is to put your faith in Him. All you need to do is to trust Him. And during that period of time, we were having 21 days prayer and fasting. And so this woman came. I was part of the prayers. I will believe God with her. I will pray for her. But that same woman, short, I say that same woman, that the doctor said there is no way for her to conceive. God touch her. The power of God transform our system. Hallelujah. Yet there will be no fallopian tube. God recreated a new one. Praise the Lord. And today that woman has children. That is what God can do. What is it that you are going to do? What is that medical report that the doctors have given you? Maybe they have told you something that have frightened you. Maybe they have told you this your situation have no solution. But I have good news for you. The man with the solution. The Lord with the solution. The God of solution. Whom nothing is impossible to you. To him. Is in the house. He will make it possible for you. Hallelujah. I said he will make it possible for you. Praise the Lord. And so Lord, you need not to be afraid. You need not to be afraid. Whatever you are going through. God is with us. Hallelujah. He said that his name shall be called what Emmanuel. So God who is with us. Hallelujah. Men may forsake you. Your brother may forsake you. Your family member may forsake you. But there is a God that will never forsake you. Praise the Lord somebody. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. And so Charlie it takes the anointing of the Holy Ghost for you to be transformed. The earth transforming. You need information. You need to be informed. information. To be transformed. To transform. And to be informed. Et informé. Is to be dis- deformed. Ça, c'est de déformer. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Your Christianity cannot be more colorful. Et tant que chrétien, ça pouvait être plus colorful. Than the information you have. And so the Holy Ghost Alors, the is the one c'est lui that brings us good news from heaven. The ciel. I say somebody is about to receive good Alors, news. Yeah. Hallelujah. He is the one that helps you c'est lui qui va vous aider to make news on the air. Qui va faire les informations dans, la, dans l'air. And any news that is above 
qui sont au euh, dessous. And any news that is from above. Et toutes les informations qui viennent de. It's above any event. Tout c'est plus tout ce que événement. It's above any earthly news. C'est plus que tous les les, les événements. En no matter the kind of news you are hearing. Quand ce soit le genre de 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 d'information. No matter the news that you have been told. Quand ce soit But there is another news. I said there is another news. And that news is not just news, but a good news. I said somebody is about to receive a good news. I said somebody is about to receive a good news. Hallelujah. And so church. Hello, Elisa. Everyone that made news on the air. Alors tous qui font les les nouvelles dans le l'air. Ah, people who have contacted the Holy Ghost. Alors c'est ceux qui sont incontactés. Who have had an encounter of the Holy Ghost. C'est eux qui sont avec. And so if you want to make news in this land. Les 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 Saint Esprit. Alors si vous. And if you want the Lord name to be glorified in your land. De cette terre et vous voulez que le Seigneur you need to have an encounter with the Holy Ghost. Il faut avoir une expérience avec le Saint Esprit. You need to have an encounter with the Holy Ghost. Il faut besoin d'avoir des sentes des expériences avec le Saint. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So it takes power to subdue the enemy. Alors l'Église ça prend le pouvoir de surmonter l'ennemi. Every one of us have an enemy. Alors tout nous tous ici on a des ennemis. If you think that you don't have an enemy, you miss it. Si vous croyez que vous n'avez pas des ennemis, Jesus actually said. Okay, parce que Jésus a dit. He said a man who's enemy. Il a dit que un homme. A member of his own household. A sous souvent sont des membres. So it means wherever you are, there is an enemy. Alors ça veut dire que là où vous êtes, il y a. And the enemy wants you to fail. Et l'ennemi il veut que vous perdez. Doesn't want you to succeed. The enemy is the one that wants to destroy your life. The enemy is the one that wants to destroy your marriage. The enemy is the one that wants to destroy your health. He is a destroyer. And the Bible says, the thief comes not but for to steal, to kill, and to destroy. But Jesus said, "I have come that you might have life." And so, Lord, it takes power to subdue the enemy. And the spirit of the Lord is the spirit of power. In Acts chapter one, verse eight, Jesus said, "You shall receive what power after that the Holy Ghost is come upon you." So power comes when the Holy Ghost comes. And so what it means is that the Holy Ghost is the power of God. And so for you to subdue the enemy, it takes the power of the Holy Ghost. It takes the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Wherever the enemy has been having a, a free way in your life today, the power of God to subdue them will come upon you in the name of Jesus. I want us to quickly look at the scripture in Psalm 110. Let us read from verse 1. Verse 1. It said, The Lord said unto my Lord, Sit thou at my right hand until I make thy enemies thy footstool. Yeah. Look at the next verse. It said, The Lord shall send the rod of thy strength out of Zion. Rule thou in the midst of thy enemy. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. It takes power to dominate the enemy. It takes power to rule over the enemy. And so, church, whatever the power that are against you, whether the power of witches and wizards, whether occultic power, whatever demonic power that have been fighting your destiny, that have been fighting your home, 
that have been fighting your life that have been fighting you from moving forward I said today you shall receive power and after you receive power you begin to dominate the enemy he said root down in the midst of what thy enemy so it means that the enemy are always there their enemies are always there whether you like it or not whether you believe it or not they are always there and so for you to overcome for you to have victory over them you need the Holy Ghost you need the power of the Holy Ghost I say that power will come upon you today in the name of Jesus thank you mighty King of Lord let's stand up on our feet I just want you to lift up your hands the Holy Ghost is in the house the power of God is here the anointing of God is here just lift up that hands Lift up their hands. I want you to talk to God this afternoon. Ask Him for that power, for that power, for that anointing. For that anointing. Talk to Him. Talk to him. Talk to him. So you shall receive power. Power. Do not miss. Inherent power. After that, the Holy Ghost is coming to you. Shall be given. Seek, and you shall find. Then knock, and the door shall be open to you. Said, if you that are evil know how to give good things to your children, said, how much more shall your heavenly Father give? The Holy Ghost. Oh my God. Is the gift of God. The Holy Ghost is the gift of God. You need him. I need him. Every one of us needs him. There is no way you can function. There is no way. Yes, 